hey you guys so this is my girl next door natural makeup look i decided to record this a couple days ago or probably like two weeks ago you just now get in this video <laughs> so um this is the look it's just um something very very simple very very easy for you guys to do um it's very natural it can be your everyday look if you choose it to be um and this is of course my go-to natural look when i'm trying to hurry up and do my face So let's get started. First thing I want to do is go ahead and start with a clean face. And then I'm going to prime my face using my Nivea Shave Balm and placing that all over my face. Um, this Nivea Shave Balm is really, really good because it makes sure that whatever you apply on top of it sticks really, really well and it makes it really, really smooth in my opinion. I like it. Then I'm going to take my professional uh, primer and I'm going to pat that over my skin, making sure that my pores are nice and smooth. I'm going to take my Anastasia Deep Cream Kit. I'm going to take that last shade on the top row and I'm going to place it over all of my dark spots. Just using my finger to um, apply it. Now I'm going to take that first shade and I'm going to apply that directly over top of all the places that I applied that other color. Again, this is the Anastasia Deep Cream Kit. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to pat that all over the areas where I apply that cream at just to kind of smooth it out and make sure that it's blended into my skin really, really well. Then I'm going to take these two um, foundations, the Lancome Tint Adol and the Stila Aqua Glow. Um, the Tint Adol is in 470 suede and the Stila is in the next to last shade, which I can't think of right now, but it's the next to last shade. Now I'm taking my medium beige um, concealer from LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm going to place that in all the areas where I need a little extra coverage for my under eye as well as in the areas where I want to highlight. And it's really not going to be like something bold, a bold highlight like I usually do it. It's just going to be very, very subtle. Now I'm taking Dark Cocoa by LA Girl and placing that in all the areas where I kind of want to get a little bit of a contour too. I'm not going in heavy like I usually do. I'm just placing like a little bit of color in those areas to help out my powder contour. I'm concentrating it on my cheeks closer to my ear.
Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to lightly blend that in. Now I'm going to take my trusty Cogendo powder and I'm going to press that into my skin, I'm apply it first on my little areas, and then I'm going to blend it in all the way. You don't want to bake because it's just going to have um, that extra pop to it, so I want to blend it in to completely set the face. But I will um, apply a little bit more to my nose, the nose area, because I want to kind of give the nose contour a little bit more oomph to it. And I will bake a little bit under my um, cheek contour. Now I'm going to take cinnamon from Anastasia. It's a contour refill and I'm going to warm up my face a little bit. It's a uh, bronzy reddish tone to it. So I apply that first. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the um, Carab Contour Refill from Anastasia as well. And lightly, 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 very much lightly, uh, create a subtle contour on my cheeks and on my forehead. Now I'm taking NW48 and MS Dark and I'm going to pat that all over my face lightly, nothing big, just lightly over it. So you won't, don't want our face to be too, too powdery or cakey looking. Now I'm just taking a little bit of that um, Carab and contouring my nose a little bit more. Now I'm taking this blush from a Tarte eyeshadow palette and lightly giving those cheeks a little flush. Now I'm going to take this skin fetish from Pat McGrath. I'm going to warn you, I hate that brush. I'm like, I I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like this brush. But the um, highlighter is super bomb. I will say that. But that brush, I don't like it. Back to my trusty Real Techniques um, setting brush. I'm taking Dripping in Gold from Anastasia and apply that directly over top of the skin fetish. Now I'm taking another thing that I don't like. Um, this is Polite Society by um, ColourPop. That lippy pencil, like, I don't know what lipstick I'm going to wear with this, but... I don't like the shade. I I don't know why. I just to me it's just an ugly shade. And there's not too many things I don't like or don't think I can work with, but this shade is really ugly to me. But I went with it. <laughs> now I'm taking Rodeo Drive from Gerard Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm applying it directly over top of that lip liner and all over my lips. And I did later add um, Madison Avenue uh, lip gloss to my lips. I just don't know why I don't have the clip for it. I don't know if I even recorded it. But hey, this is the finished look. If you guys like it, make sure that you hit that like button down below. Make sure that you subscribe as well. And if you can, possible, make sure that you um, share my video to your social media pages, to Twitter, to Facebook, and to Instagram if you like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.